Welcome to a uh, brief video, which I've um, almost given up the world to live <laughs> getting this from. But it's because I'm setting up two Sega Dreamcasts and two Trinitron televisions. And the point of this video is to compare the uh, Scott enabled um, Trinitron down there. Can't be bothered to remember what the name of it is. With this one up here, which is the one I picked up uh, just last weekend, uh, which is RF enabled. Um, so this one, I'll give you a close up in a minute. It looks great. Um, beautiful, um, kind of beautiful looking TV. Let me just take it off here. I'm not. I've just given up on production values these days. So here we have. You can still hear me. It's got a remote, by the way. Rather nice little remote. So. Uh, it's all very responsive. So um, what I've got here is basically, uh, I forget what the model number is, here it is, KV, we can't see that, KV, I don't know why I'm showing you that, 1412 UB, and uh, this is 1983 model. Um, it's completely like analog basically. It has got a really nice speaker, I'll just whack the volume up just so you can hear it. It. Well, the pitch is quite good. I mean, I've got a 60 hertz signal going in there. I know you can't really tell from a video camera. It's a 60 hertz, 50 hertz TV. Um, it's got a nice carrying handle. Very robust that one. Nice metal. Well, plasticky, but quite nice. Um, back of the telly is good. I'll do a bit of a 360 in a minute. It's also got a rather nice little front display you've got this um, RF aux so you've got an RF in the back and you've got one in the front and you can toggle between the one in the back which is showing shit and this one which is on uh, RF aux so it's actually got two RF inputs uh, it's also got uh, a headphone jack and when I turn the lights on in the room you might be able to see the inside panel a bit better so it's got one of those nice touch push downs. I might need a bit of light actually to show on that. Yeah, it's not going to come out. It's actually got a very nice panel in there. And one thing it's got which is um, interesting. Oh, is so what we've got here is um, two Dreamcasts. One of them at the top there is running Sturm Wind. And the one at the bottom is running Border Down. I have to say, um, that it's nice to have two um, tellies going at once. I can't honestly say this is a demonstration of picture quality because it's not going to come out. Fucking shit. And it's lovely seeing two tellies on the go at once. One of the first times I've ever done this. Um, of course they're both 15 inch portables so it's not like an arcade but it's quite sexy I think. And once you've got a um, RGB SCART signal like this. You can see that it's pretty damn stable and crisp, pixely. And you know what Trinitrons are like, they've got this lovely shadow mask thing going on where the pixels are all nicely kind of delineated on the um, front bit. Now this TV's got an interesting feature in that it's got a, um, it's got a vertical um, alignment control down here. It's that one there, and what it does is it messes with the um, the sort of sync of the top. You see, when I do that, it loses it, and then it kind of it sort of is funny. It's like a sync control, and you can tell when it's back in sync because the lines all line up again. And of course, I'm not going to be able to do it now because I'm doing it on camera. But you get it just for a, a split second, and it's and it's in sync and it looks wonderful and I'll probably have to turn the fucking thing off again to so get it right but anyway 
the point is, oh there it is, I think that's pretty stable. The point is that once you've got it in sync, the images look really good. I mean all that bollocks about sync really isn't important when you've got an RGB SCART signal. This thing is absolutely pin fucking sharp. Oh. Right, so this is basically a little visual comparison of the TV sets. Um, this KV1412 is actually a really nice set in terms of its build. Uh, I would say it's a better quality set than the later Trinitron that I've got. It's just got nice curved edges and it's got this, um, if you're a fan of Bang & Offs and tellies like I am, then you'll appreciate this lovely bit of um, screen in front. And you've got some nice um, LEDs along the front and uh, cat hair. And also, um, you know, the nice obligatory Sony logo. You've got this sync, um, sync thing there, which basically can stabilise the sort of flickery line sort of effect thing here, so that... Oh, that's funny. I don't know, if you do that too much, it um, starts to go... It's really nice for it as well. It's got a good, a good remote. Oops. It's got a good remote. It just feels nice. It's just a nice quality thing. And a big fuck off aerial at the back. Um, this one, a um, bit cheap looking, really. A bit cheap and plasticky. Um, it's got a bit of a cheaper front on it. Doesn't do that nice thing, it just sort of goes. Uh, this is the back sides of the televisions. I don't really know why I want to show you these TVs' asses, but there is something quite, <laughs> dare I say, sexy about one of their asses. Um, this one, again, the old one, is. Oop. I would say this TV has a better backside. It's nicely slanted, it's got some good grooves going along it, it's got an aerial, gives it a real retro look. And the um, it's in better nick as well, so you've got the whole serial number. Um, I had to take the back off this and tweak the hell out of the geometry because um, the bars that we had, you know, a letterbox basically. I just wish there was some way that I could house the insides of that TV with the the tube and the RGB circuit inside that unit. That would just be amazing. Now you know that I'm a bit of a tape freak, so I've uh, set the TV up here into tart mode. Tart mode! And I'm playing uh, Neo XYX. And I have to say, this TV does a damn good job of holding uh, a Tate picture. Uh, it sits very, very comfortably on its side. It looks absolutely gorgeous. I and mean, this thing is total retro sex. That speaker down the side, silver case, the uh, even down to the glass screen on the outside, it's just got a classic cocktail, cocktail arcade cabinet feel to it. All right, the picture's RF, but is that really that bad? You know, am I really gonna lose sleep over the fact those buttons have got a tiny bit of red ghosting on it? Um, certainly, look, the blues on this are fucking sharp. So, was that worth doing? I don't know. Basically, I'm not undecided as to whether to keep this one. I can probably squeeze it into a cupboard somewhere, um, but it does only have an RF input, so I'm really, really limited at the moment as to what I can use it with. Uh, my Dreamcast is at the moment the only console I own with an RF lead. Uh, it's one of these trusty devices there, Dreamcast RF cable, so I was really pleased I actually had a console I could play it on at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, not sure what I'll really do with it, but I like the look of this TV. Um, it's built nicely, looks looks good, so maybe I'll keep it. <laughs>